we need an emery board, a thin emery board, right? Thin is the key, because this is gonna help us refine the shape there. We need a board file, a 180 grade board file. This is going to help us shape that enhancement. And we also need a sponge buffer, preferably a 100 to 180 grid. Hey there and welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolaponsenails.com, your source for all things premium soft gels and entrepreneurship in the nail industry. If this sounds like a niche you'd like to continue growing in, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing to this channel and our weekly newsletter. Let's begin. Well, hey there friends. Today I want to talk about files. Files are so important in your application, in your services. And this is why I'm going to dedicate a video into this topic, okay? So when you are doing your soft gel enhancements, which is what we specialize in this channel and what I've been specializing in for 10 years now, you need three types of file. You could get away with two. Let me explain which are these three different type of files you need. So first of all, you are going to need an emery board. And I will also tell you which one you can kind of substitute. Okay, what is an emery board? Well, an emery board is supposed to be made of emery powder to create that soft, gentle grit on the board file here. This is a flexible board file, very flexible board file. And it is great for shaping natural nails. It allows you to do that very gently, not splitting the nail open, and also just easily being able to get in through the groove there in between the skin and the nail plate right there. This helps you shape, again, natural nails and also enhancements once they've been overlaid. These are great, again, natural nails. These are not good for shaping enhancements. Doing your shaping with these enhancements is not appropriate because perhaps you remember me mentioning this in other videos, these boards flex and they flex significantly when there is pressure applied to them. And that happens when you're trying to get that crisp shape, essentially indenting the shape of your nail. So that is why an emery board is not preferred for shaping the enhancements. It is good for shaping natural nails, all right? These are the three that our favorite brands offer, Leaf Gel Vetro Coco is, and they're usually about a 180 grit, no coarser than that. Remember, the higher the number, the finer it is. And yeah, sometimes you'll find them at a 240. These will also be like with your travel kits, if you're buying it for like a little manicuring travel kit from like the drugstore or something like that, or a Target, they will usually include some sort of like emery board because they assume you're gonna be working on natural nails. All right, the next board that you are going to need or use in your services is a true board file and i mean one that has an actual like plastic board in there to keep your board file very firm that it allows you to shape the natural nails and most importantly overlay so natural nails that have been overlaid or even enhancements and keep crisp shapes because as you put pressure this will not flex as much as that emery board would. So it will allow you to create crisp shapes. And again, you don't wanna to use too much pressure anyways when you are uh, shaping. You wanna let the correct tool do the job. And again, that's a 180 grid board file. So you'll need an emery board and a board file. A board file, uh, again, especially if you have enhancements, so if you have nails that have been overlaid or you created extensions of some sort. Now, this is where you might want to consider using one of each, so one emery and one board file. I understand that's an extra expenditure, so what you can do in the salon, and I don't have here with me right now, but it's something like this, where you actually take a little piece of, this is like a little sanding paper from a nail file company. This is the one that I'm familiar with is from, what's it called, from Stalix. And actually, Coco actually also offers these peel and stick, okay? Peel and sticks are cool too. This has a little bit of a foam in there, this white one, which is fine. That is like totally fine. But sometimes it's hard to, even when it's just the foam and the metal, 
it's hard to squeeze that in there because if you look at the thickness of the metal file and the peel and stick paper there, it gives you this much thickness, much more than the thickness you actually need with to get into that natural nail. You see that this is this the metal and this peel and stick is much thicker than this. Okay, so even though it's a nice grid, it's still not good to be able to get into that groove and perfect the nails and make a crisp shape, especially when it has a sponge buffer attached to it. But I mean, it's still great as an all-in-one tool here, like your file and your buffer. Again, if you want to be more precise, it would be a little difficult to get in there. I still enjoy this though. Okay, just FYI. So yeah, so we have our emery board, our board file, right, for our enhancements. And then the other thing you have is a coarse grid file. This is very optional actually. So I'm just gonna go in increments of the grid here. But a board file like this with a strong grid, so somewhere around 150 to maybe like a 120 or a 100. These are gonna be really coarse, okay? So these are gonna be used for shaping enhancements or reducing enhancements or gel removal if you are not trained yet in e-file removal, okay? Again, these are more optional. Consider adding these when you are also going to be investing more time in a service. So if you're gonna do like free form extensions and you're gonna hand file the shape, maybe you got the body of your enhancement, the apex, you got that in with the gel itself, or you're gonna do your e-file with that, whatever it may be, if you need something a little coarser, if you need bigger modifications, then you will need something a little coarser. These are a little bit more rare, especially for a soft gel specialist, but it doesn't hurt to stock up on some of these. All right. So I hope you understood what I meant by you can use just your 180 to shape the nail enhancement and just grabbing a little strip of sanding paper like so and putting it on a little metal piece like this. Stalex Brands has them when you need to perfect either right after you've shaped, so your prep and then your shape, or maybe after the service is done and you wanna go in there and perfect it. If you don't wanna waste a full emery board, again, just buy that emery paper from companies like Stalex to line just a tiny piece of a metal spatula or a metal tool, a metal board like this to so that you don't waste, again, a lot of money or extra money on emery boards. It's up to you what kind of service and upgrade you need. So right now I'm just giving you the grids. Emery board, medium board file, which is going to be like somewhere in the 180 grid. And then something coarser if you need to reduce nails. That often happens when you are reshaping like extensions or you are reducing product for gel removal. After you've chosen a file, you have to choose a sponge, a sponge buffer, okay? So these have been some of my favorite for the longest time. These sponge buffers by Leaf Gel. They're high quality. The grit is really nice and not super gritty. It doesn't wear off fast. So that's good if you're offering more of a premium service where the price of these buffers, which is about like $2.50, is included. That's fantastic. But if you're going to be using these for clients, this can get, like for every client, this can get expensive. What I did used to do in the salon because I like the quality so much, I used to cut these in half. Sometimes even quarter them if I was just gonna do like a short natural nail mani. That's up to you to decide if you wanna do that or find an option, and that's what I'm here today to show you, that is more budget friendly for us independent nail techs or for us business owners, right? So with that in mind, we are going to move into options. So for me, because I'm DIY, I'm working on models, and I'm also a brand affiliate, right? I don't mind using and splurging and buying these files from these brand partners, okay? However, I know that for you in the salon, that can get really expensive. So it's not economical for your business and that's why I wanted to do this video. Rarely would you see something coarser than a 150, but they are out there, 100 or 120 grit. Those are really coarse grits. I would actually leave anything 100 grit in a board file or 120 for enhancements, okay? So what grid should you use for your sponge buffers? You should use, if you, you have to know your systems. What does your system adhere well with, okay? Well, most of the time your universal fit is going to be that 180 grit sponge buffer. Sometimes you may wanna add a little more texture if you're doing longer nails or if you're doing like 
full coverage extensions, things like that, that 100 grit is gonna give you more hold on the nail for that product, okay? Whichever option you use, the goal with the sponge buffer on natural nails is not to smooth out the nail completely. It is to level it out, but you still want to leave the grit of whatever uh, sponge buffer you are using imprinted on the natural nail because that texture is what's going to give you the adhesion. Sometimes we have a very fine buffer like this in a nail system. And honestly, unless you know your system is pretty much sanding free and it adheres well to just smooth sanding, you probably will never use something like a 400 grit or a very shiny buff. This is more for natural nails, okay? So actually I kind of, this in your Vetro lineup is almost unnecessary unless you wanna shiny buff the nails, which Vetro used to have a base code that required that you shiny buff the nails. And this is why this buffer was introduced. But again, something extra, extra optional. All right, files are very important. Files and buffers are very important. And actually, files are more important than buffers. Why do I say that? Because they make your shaping. Have you ever done a, sh a set of nails and looked at the shape, whether you've done them yourself or someone else has sent them and you just see that the shaping is off. I can almost guarantee you that it is because the technician is using the wrong file. In fact, I had my first in-person class in many years, spontaneously this year in March, and I was actually astonished by the amount of nail techs, professional level already, who were using an emery board like so to shape their enhancements. This might feel sturdy in the beginning, but if you use it enough on all 10 nails, this starts actually kind of bending. Not only that, it just doesn't provide the support you need to bevel, to shape, all of that stuff. So what are the three grits that we need in our soft gel enhancements? We need an emery board, a thin emery board, right? Thin is the key because this is gonna help us refine the shape there. We need a board file, a 180 grade board file. This is going to help us shape that enhancement. And we also need a sponge buffer, preferably a 100 to 180 grade, okay? Those are the three types of file we need as soft gel specialists, all right? Again, me, I don't mind splurging on the branded ones. I know that for you, you need a more economical option. One thing to note is that Cocoas does offer packets or packages of their boards and their sponge buffers. And so they do bring the price down to, I wanna say under $2 per item. If that sounds feasible to you, if you like to get all of your ordering done from one brand, if you're ordering Cocoas already, that can work out for you, right? Rather than ordering from somewhere else, waiting for that to come through and all of that. So what do I have here? So what options did I come up with? You can definitely do your own research, but the beauty of this video is help you get to some options faster. And I will be listing this down below. And I might even get inspired to create a chart, a comparison guide for different prices, okay? Because I know that you just like to peruse and see what is the most economical option. So I hope that I am able to craft some time to create that for you soon, if not when this video releases. Okay, so for emery boards, again, I'm probably going to either order the Cocoas kind, because these are relatively economical, they're a good price. I might also order the Stalix tape and put that on a metal base. I like that option, I've used that a lot and it helps me refine my manicures really easy. And I also came across this brand here, Fox, which by my research is a Ukrainian company reading their history and all of that, they're about on their website. And they offer like European style products. So if you're into like dual forms and poly gel kind of materials, they have a lot of that, okay? Hard gels, hard gel builder, all of that, not more of a soft gel specialist, but I did like that they have that, those options for you. Okay, so I came with this very unique thing from them, which I guess is something that they made up. I've actually never have seen this in my 13 years of doing nails, and they took a wooden stick, branded it, put that adhesive paper, as I told you, that you can get from like Stalix, and seems to have smoothed this out so that this doesn't catch 
on your fingers because that would hurt. <laughs> and they also added like a little sponge there, a little sponge buffer, which I thought was wow. And so this is going to shape very nicely in there. It's also going to refine or give you that full shape and it might not help you. When you have a board file, that doesn't really help you shape the body of the nail because you do need a little bit of spongy material. This material, there's a little sponginess in there. So there's that plastic board file and then there's that little spongy paper and then there's the grit. So that sponginess in a board file allows you to shape more evenly the surface of the nail. So this is not going to be necessarily like ideal for the surface of the nail, but it can work. It really, really can because you can use this to soften this up or align it wherever you need to. And then you can use this sponge buffer, which is a 180 grit to soften that up and boom. So this is a little genius invention. I thought this was so nifty. I couldn't pass it up. It's about a dollar or so per file. I wanna say maybe like 90 cents, honestly. So this might be the bang for the buck for you. Again, I'll be linking that down below. 180 grit, little sanding paper there on a wood stick that has been refined, branded and just a little piece of sponge buffer. So this is going to be great for probably like natural nail overlays. Genius, all right? Um, next up, Nashling Nail seems to have been starting their own branded files also. Maybe a thing going on. And they're fine. This is nice here. It's not so rough, the 180 side. The 100 gets a little more coarser. And again, 100 is for reducing. So whether you're reducing an imperfection on the top of the nail, removal, or you are reducing the shape of the nail, the, the length of the nail, that's one thing. These were nice too. Plastic, sponginess, and then that sanding paper. But I usually like my board files more like this. Maybe I'm just used to it. Maybe I'm just used to it, okay? But not bad. Sometimes if you're trying to shape like acrylic nails or something like that, these may bend. So just keep that in mind if you need something really, really sturdy. It feels sturdy, okay. But that was just something that um, they actually gifted me in one of my last videos. So it's not really highly recommended yet because I haven't tried it myself and I actually like this on my nails. Oh my gosh. Again, when you have this moon shape here, the shaping is just so much more easy to get around the cuticle area, around or over the apex of the nail. I found these. I saw that a lot of nail techs were using this brand for Pro and in the 100 and 180 grit. Personally, again, I don't really need a 100 grit. So this may be a waste for me, the 100 side, but if you're doing hand removals or you're reducing nails by hand, rebalancing them, this can work for you, okay? They do say washable and sanitizable. I would recommend this if you are DIY and you're looking forward to doing your own nails and maybe having a quality file for yourself. That's great because for your clients, you will have to toss them, all right? Sanitizable is, sorry, that's just, antibacterial. So washable is like hands up, just the debris, removing the debris with soap and water. Sanitizable, I mean, that could be soap and water because if your soap is antibacterial, then it could be sanitizable. But again, it's kind of like mm, most states don't allow that. So these are probably a toss per client also, so tossing these out. Nevertheless, good quality and good price for them. The next file that I have here, this for me was an exciting one because um, this is kind of rare nowadays, a 180 or a, to 240 in a board file, rare again. And I find that this is the range for us soft gel specialists who are not going to be reducing by hand and rather reducing with e-file. So the 180 can help us shape or reshape or enhancement so if your client's coming in and she's going from square to oval fantastic 180 will get us there and then 240 will help us refine it might be a little bit of a struggle because it's thicker here to get on that groove but if we have a little bit of a sanding paper situation over our little metal spatula like this to save on cost then it's something that we can invest in and we would just peel that off and do that right so I really, really like this. I think this is my option right now, probably what you'll see me using more just because of price and quality, okay?
okay so next up and again very economical you get this whole package for a good good price so these are 25 and then these are a 12 counts there so again just have to see what do you need and how much is it going to cost you lastly we have a sponge buffer here this sponge buffer was one of my favorites when i was a full-time nail tag okay it's a 180 up here and a 100 grit there and it's a little bit more coarse than it feels a little more coarse than the coco is sponge buffer but it's similar okay so it's got a 180 side and then a 100 grit side these are going to be the bang for the buck one thing that i like about these is the, how long they are and the fact that they're flat like i think this is this was like my favorite sponge buffer in the salon and i am so happy that the same brand and i want to say you're going to find these at like beauty supply stores like maybe like salon centric and cosmoprop if not on amazon again i'll link it to everything so this right here is not going to be super gritty where you can actually see the grain of the file the sanding section it's very very fine when you see that the grain is relatively fine yet you can still feel a difference that's a good buffer if you see the graininess and you can kind of feel it and if you go ahead and file and that stuff just shaves off it just comes off as you're filing not a good sponge buffer but it might work for clients that just come in for a natural nail overlay and they don't need a lot of refining okay so yes i like branded files and buffers but i can afford that luxury for you it's going to not be as economical and sorry it took me so long to realize that because i certainly did not use branded files in the salon and if i did i would cut them in half because they're very important if these are not the right grit if they come off like they're the the coarseness, the grittiness, that stuff can actually wear off as you're filing. And then, you know, you can go through 10 nails even with one piece. That's not a good quality file or sponge buffer. So for that reason, I definitely would want you to consider the options mentioned today. This right here is a beautiful sponge buffer, my favorite in the salon. Can I like the, the length, the width, all of that? And this right here is the most accurate grit for soft gel specialists. Also very sturdy, great quality. Find everything we talked about today in the description box below. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. If you loved today's video, can you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up to boost it up in the algorithm so that I may help more people. And if you need a little more direction in your nail career, I want to encourage you to join my free masterclass using the link in the description box below. It is available for you to watch immediately for free right now after signing up.